the first thing I want to point is that it's finding two columns, okay? So if I go transform data, then we will go to the Power Query editor. And we could start our work from here. I want to close this file and open another one just to show you something that can happen with these files. Let's first scroll down. We see that we have two columns and the second column shows empty throughout. There's only a few rows that we have here. Let's check another file. So I'm going to do the same thing. Data tab and then under the Get and Transform Data Group from Text CSV. Same folder. Change these to all files. And I'm going to use this N10 file that was generated the same way from uh, Microsoft Stream. You see here the file now comes with three columns. So depending on how the file is processed, we may get more or less columns. Let's click Transform Data and see how this file looks like. If we scroll down, we will see that sometimes the text does not stay all in column 1 and may go to column 2 and maybe possibly to column 3. And we don't know if other longer files could bring us more than three columns, so that we should account for that, okay? You see, we have a few rows that the text was split into two columns. Okay, so because of that, uh, my first action will be to merge these three columns into just one. We have here the change type step. We can delete that. And so let's start that work. We will select all the columns and then uh, under Transform tab, we come to merge columns here and we will ask Power Query to merge the three columns into just one and use space as a separator so that we can have a space between the text in different columns. Uh, the name of the column merged can doesn't matter. Let's use that name. And so now we have one column only. The challenge has to do with the merged columns step, the very first one that we did. Remember that I told you that not always we get three columns. Sometimes we, get, may, we have less, other times we might get more than three columns. But in this case, our solution used the file that had three columns and the three column names, column one, column two, column three, that came in the source here. So when we uh, point to the file, we get three columns named column one, column two, column three, and they are hard coded. The column names are hard coded in here. So this will be a challenge next time when you run the query because if we don't have those same three columns, the query will give us an error. So let's address this challenge right here. This is a list. We can see that because it's in between curly brackets. And what we want here is, hey, I don't know if we will get three columns, two or more than three columns. What I want Power Query to do is to always to merge all the columns we have in the source, which is indicated here, source. It's the name of our previous step. And in that step, we have a table. So if we refer to source in at this point here in Power Query, it will understand it is the table generated in the source step. Okay, so let's jump again to merged columns. And in here, I'm going to replace this portion of the code with, so delete that and come here and start typing table dot column names. We have it there. Tab. Okay. Column names. 
of what? Uh, it needs, here it says, a table. Okay, the table uh, of which we want the column names is the table in that we can refer to as source, created in the source step. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Let's do, let's confirm this step. We didn't get an error and everything was the same because now it's uh, it's looking at the table source and getting the column names that we have there. And the next time, if that source only has two columns or has more than three columns, all the columns will be considered here. 